Let's talk about preventing shorts and checking our wiring prior to powering up. If we remember, all of our inputs are on the top row here, 1 through 20, 21 through 40 are all our outputs. Our outputs, primarily for this device, for this machine, are all of our solenoids. We're going to check and make sure that our outputs, solenoids, and our inputs, which is, you know, like this photoelectric, photoelectric uh, sensor down here, our read switches within our actuators, are not wired up um, to be a dead short. Remember, a dead short is going directly from positive 24 with a direct path to negative with no resistance in between. That could be done accidentally by, as we talked about before, wiring up a normally closed switch to go directly to common. There's, when you close a switch, there's no resistance and you allow 24 volts to go directly to the negative. Um, so we're going to check it by putting in a, we're going to set our meters on ohms and check the resistance from the power supply, which is 24 volt on your terminal block. And the best way to do that is just place your positive lead into a secure spot on the terminal block and check it with the other lead, making sure that you've got, uh, you know, almost direct continuity or um, no resistance. Um, once you've done that, just go along in what's called pin out. You're going to touch each one of these. Well, this guy is not wired up to anything, so it's off limits or outer limits of the, the um, um, multimeter. Go to the next terminal, step over. And remember, these are all the outputs. And I've got some resistance here. It's not a short, but it is 32 kilo ohms, 30 kilo ohms. Well, if I do the math on that, um, 30 kilo ohms into 24 volts divided by 32,000 equals, you know, about a maybe one milliamp, um, not even probably about three quarters of a milliamp, which is not a concern. That's not a direct short. That's not going to burn up any device. It's very low wattage to have um, a single or um, less than a one milliamp. Um, so if we go down the line here and check all the rest of these, we're going to find that they're all about the same. They're um, somewhere into um, absolute, uh, you know, complete open circuit, with it would be OL, um, outer limits of the, the um, multimeter, or it's going to be somewhere in the um, kilo ohm range, which is going to be milliamps by the time you divide the 24 volts by um, those that high resistance, you're going to have a very low current flow. What you don't want to see is um, anything in the like 100 um, ohm or less that's close to being a dead short or is a dead short and will overload the circuit and burn something up. So after I pin out each one of these and check them, both the inputs or both the outputs and the inputs and make sure I have at least um, um, several kilo ohm um, then I can power up and now we're going to talk about uh, shoot a separate video for talking about how we power up and check the overall amperage through the circuit.